So I'm just sitting here and the Lord is talking to me and chatting with me. And he says, um, I know the order in which I want to do things in your life. Um, there's personality traits and there's issues and different things from our past, from our presence, where God says, I have to get everything in order before you go into Canaan because you see yourself as a grasshopper right on the brink of your blessing, right on the brink of your breakthrough. You see yourself as a grasshopper. You see it as if it can't come to pass. So let me organize things around your life that's going to put you in a position to better believe for the blessing. Let me organize and get in order your husband's life, your life, so that you can be a better wife, so that you know how to talk to them. Let me organize or send a destiny helper that will teach you about how you speak and how you talk and how you handle things before your husband. Let me send a video. Let me send a prophet, someone that can say to you, I can help you organize your thoughts to better help you process them so that you won't run people away. God says, you're rushing the promise, but I have plans for you, plans to prosper you, but I can't prosper you if I don't get all of these things out of the way because you will ruin the promise. That marriage is going to come to pass, but God is checking off boxes and getting everything in order. You're almost done. It's almost complete. It's almost fulfilled, but let God organize it. The word says in 1 Corinthians 14 and 4, it says, God want everything done peacefully, decently, and in order. God says, and he's talking right before that when a prophet is speaking, uh, we got to be students as well. And at this time, we just happen to be students while God is teaching us how to be wives, how to be friends and and, and managers and, and entrepreneurs. He has to do everything. He's going to do everything in decency and order, and he's organizing everything around you so that that promise fits, so that you won't see yourself as a grasshopper, so that you see that you're capable to be that wife, that that man, while he's working on you, he's working on him. And before he brings you guys together, that everything is in divine order so that you don't have to go through hell in the marriage. Well, we'll all have problems, but you get what I'm saying. So let God organize your life. Let God organize the people that will come and help and let him make your enemies your first tool. Let him fight some battles. Let God do what he knows how to do best. And that is be God. I love you family. Subscribe. And no, that promise is on the way. You're going to be prepared for it. I love you. God bless.